Blue 42! Hut! Hut! Hey everybody, I'm Greg Bedard, NFL writer at the Boston Globe, here rejoined by former Patriots tight end Jermaine Wiggins. Thank goodness he's back this week. I didn't want yep. to go it alone again. Um, Jermaine, we're going to look at a play from the victory over the Broncos. Now, I picked this play. This is Danny um, Woodhead's 10-yard touchdown run late in the third quarter. Picked this for a couple different reasons. thought this was a big play because they were up 11. This gets it to three scores against the Broncos, and that's a tough position to put them in. And also, this is something about, I wrote about in today's paper was I thought there was just tremendous team blocking on the part of the Patriots in this game. And I thought that illustrated, I mean, very rarely do you see a running back virtually go untouched yeah. on a 10-yard run from the 10-yard line. Yeah. So why don't you tell us how this play worked? Well, first off, I think what the Patriots do a good job is formation and formation the play. They come out, spread formation, two receivers, two receivers. Here's Hernandez, here's Gronkowski. So now what they've put themselves in a position to say, hey, we could throw out of this formation here. And what they run, they run a draw. So Brady's going to come back. And you're going to see Woodhead move to the right a little bit. And what that's going to do is that's going to hold this middle linebacker where now he's going to step over thinking, okay, I have to play this guy. And as he steps over, they run a draw. And what it's going to do, it's going to help Logan Mankins and the center now double the nose up to the linebacker. And the critical block on this play is right here by Aaron Hernandez. He's in a position where he has to come down and get inside of this this cornerback is because it's a nickel cornerback on the play and now wall him off so there's a nice running lane right here and it's really imperative that he takes a flat angle because if he comes up field too high the cornerback's going to be able to beat him and he does a tremendous job of taking a nice flat angle walling him off you have Mankins in the center they do a good job of moving the nose up and pinning this linebacker and as they run the draw front side what well Woodhead does a good job is he bends it back and there's a huge running lane right there which allows him to pretty much walk into the end zone untouched I think the linebacker plays back over Mankins does a good job of just finish him over the play and Woodhead now cuts it back up uh, and it's a tremendous job of the offensive line and Hernandez and obviously Gronkowski and the other guys blocking but if you these two Hernandez and the offensive line were key on this play. Yeah, th this really stood out to me for a couple different reasons. Because we, in preceding weeks, we've seen the, the run operation has been a little bit clunky. They haven't done the little things. And what you saw here was with Mankins and Wendell, mm -hmm. Mankins did a good job of staying with his, you, you could see him with his right hand staying, giving a little bit more push on the nose to help out Wendell. Wendell did a good job turning this guy. And then, yeah, like you talked about, Hernandez. That's a block that the Patriots have been missing consistently over the past month. They're taking bad angles. Maybe it's something they worked on in practice this week because it was flawless yeah. and, and it was very impressive. And as a tight end, that's got to be a tough block. Yeah, it definitely is a tough block to make because you have to understand you have to really, really take a flat angle. But the one thing when you talked about Mankins, what he wants to do on this, it's a double team, but you want to take half of this nose and leave your outside arm free. In this case, would be his left arm. So he, you're going to see him setting real heavy with his inside um, inside arm pushing the outside number of the snow tackle to now push him back onto the center. So now he can climb and now either wall or pin him or if he does play over the top now ride him off. And like I said, key on this play is Hernandez really, really taking a flat angle and he does a tremendous job of that because now once he takes a flat angle, he's a lot bigger and stronger than this guy. So even if he's here, he can still now pin him, and Woodhead would just now cut off the back of Hernandez. Good stuff. Big play, tremendous execution from the Patriots, something we saw a lot of in that game, and you know, hopefully they can keep it going. Uh, for Jermaine Wiggins, I'm Greg Bedard from the Boston Globe. Thanks for watching Inside the Playbook.